Hey community, we're back and I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And together we are B&B, the, the community, community MPs. MPs. <laughs> so it's been a minute, but you know, and we've talked about this subject before, but we just want to kind of circle back, give you some updates, some real quick updates, okay. just to let you know, you know, what's what, changed. What's my, what, what month is it? It's, it's, right now it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay. And so we're going to talk about- You got your pink on a day. I do. So okay. we're going to talk about breast cancer. Um, primary, we're not going to go into detail about like treatment and all that, but just like more yeah. of the- prevention side so right? we have a whole video they can always go look at our video and right get the whole detail yes. about breast cancer you can get the all what? the we're outside y'all there's a squirrel running we hard <laughs> a squirrel running hardcore mm -hmm. in the tree but anyway so what what is breast cancer so breast cancer is a type of cancer that affects the breast right mm -hmm. um what happens is you have cells some, your, your cells, some cells in your breast start to multiply. Mm -hmm. Abnormal cells start to mm -hmm. multiply and it causes you to have breast cancer. Right. Okay? Um, what? Um, what you know, it's so most most often it occurs in women, but men can get yes, breast cancer. Yes. So we can do a video on, on men, breast cancer in men later. Just And, and I recently had a, a patient, a guy, who he, he said he was just taking a shower one day. He was scrubbing. He was like, he felt the lump. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He came and he saw me. We went. I got a mammogram mm -hmm. on him, um, and it, it, an ultrasound, and it came back breast. It had a biopsy and it came back breast cancer. Oh my gosh! Yes. We're gonna add that to our story time yes. segment. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, the so breast cancer can start in the ducts, the lobules, the nipples. Um, it can start in the fat, the fatty and connective tissue, or it can start in like the limbs or the uh, blood vessels. So it, there's lots of places it can start. Wherever it starts, get 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 treated. You okay. know what I mean. So, um, how mm. do I know if I have breast cancer? Like, what are some of the um, signs and symptoms of breast cancer? So changes in your breasts so okay. you might feel a bump a lump tenderness okay um, um thickening, yeah, yeah. thickening a swelling of the breast the breast at all so uh -huh. thickening and swelling nipple Nip discharge when you're not nursing because you know you was nursing so <laughs> yeah. you had yeah that's milk from the nipple that that's a normal discharge okay. but if like you got um some discolored discharge any discharge just get it checked out especially okay. blood red flag okay um okay. but yeah pain redness you okay. feel like the nipple might just be tender. Anything that's abnormal that you, you usually don't feel in your breast. Then, um, a lot of things, a lot of times when I see a patient who come in who hasn't have a, had a um, screen for breast cancer and may have breast cancer, I see a, like a pulling around mm -hmm. a nipple. Like it's like a, it looks like it's, it's an indentation or it's really tight around yeah. the nipple. Yeah. I don't see that a lot. Okay. A lot of patients also. Yeah. So what, 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 do you, what can you do to screen yourself for breast cancer? So... Get a screen yourself. You're talking about a mammogram, mm -hmm. or you want them to go get a mammogram, or what you what you want. What what, what can you do at home? You can do a self breast exam on yourself. Yeah. You can feel your breast. I tell my patients get to know your breast, right? Mm -hmm. Touch yourself, or let your partner touch up on you. Okay, mm -hmm. so but it's got to be the same partner, so it can be consistent. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you funny, you funny. <laughs> but so you can get to know your breast. So when yeah. you know when you feel something abnormal, you'll know that this wasn't that last month, or yeah. I didn't feel this yeah. last time I touched my breast. So I I tell my patients that. Yeah, yeah. and it's good to do that. You know. Um, in in or at during the shower or after a shower. Yeah. Um, and so and somebody like me, a shower not gonna help because I got really really large breasts. I got to do laying in my bed. <laughs> so <laughs> so how you do? With your side. arms above your head. Yeah, so feel under your armpits, around yes. your breast, both breasts. Um, so because I, when I lie down, it allows my breasts to you know fan out, out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's easier for me to do my exam. that's just yeah. girls with big boobs yeah. that's just i got big, i got big no boobs not, not not me okay well yeah. my boobs are big okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so those are some of the symptoms that you can look for so you you were telling me earlier that you know i think on our last video we said that breast cancer was more common in African American? Yes, I was reading um, something from the CDC today, and it said that um, let's see, women um, overall the leading cause of breast cancer among wait 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 let me back up. First of all, it says the deaths from breast cancer are has declined, and you know probably the reason why more people probably getting screening yeah, right, so that's yeah. probably why they're catching it early, they're mm -hmm. being able to get treated. But it said breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer among women overall, and the leading cause of cancer among Hispanic women. So that's changed yeah. because it was. 
um, I think the okay. leading cause of death of African Americans. So yeah, that, that has a justice on. So yeah. what do you think is the reason? I don't know. Um, maybe they're not getting screened as often. Uh -huh. um, then you got to think about some people may be undocumented. You may not be able to have get the get the medical care that you need. So right. They depend on free screening centers, yeah. mobile mm -hmm. mammograms, you know, in communities that, you know, that offer those. Yeah. And there, and you can always check like your local um, health department. Yeah, health department, mm -hmm. the community hospitals, and stuff to see like what services they offer if you need to get screened, but you are having difficulty getting so, that done. So you tell me what 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 is the screening for breast cancer? A mammogram. Okay. So, so what is a mammogram? So a mammogram is when you go in, they look at your boobs, they smash them in the machine. <gasps> eh, yeah, it's painful. So don't go when you're on your period or close to being on your period because okay. baby, listen. Don't do it while you're breastfeeding. That's, those are times when your breasts are like most tender and okay. it's gonna hurt the most. So, but then there's ultrasound. Um, sometimes if they see something abnormal, they might want to get an ultrasound just to get a better picture. And then MRI. I seen that MRIs are uh, more common in women with like dense breast tissue. Okay. Okay. Um, and speaking of dense breast tissue, what what is that? All right, so your breast has like three different types of tissue, right? Uh -huh. Um, gland, what it is? Fat, uh, fatty, um, gland, glandular, mm -hmm. and fibroids. Fibroid, yeah, yeah. So you want you should have more fatty tissue, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you have dense breast, you may have not as much fatty tissue, but may have more glandular or fibrous tissue. Yeah, yeah tissue in your uh -huh. breast. So yeah. Yeah. So it, so a lot of people get scared because they say, oh, we need to do an ultrasound, we need to repeat and do an ultrasound. Uh -huh. But a lot of times when they do the ultrasound, they just say that your your breast is just dense. Yeah. So therefore, we couldn't see all the fatty tissue, so we wanted to do an ultrasound on your breast. So did you know that having dense breasts puts you at higher risk of having breast cancer? Oh, you telling me something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So some of the other risk factors that you know we really can't control is like age, mm -hmm. genetics, the dense breasts, um, personal or family history of breast cancer mm -hmm. or ovarian cancer. Um, previous radiation exposure and then um this is new for me so it's um exposure to des des was a drug that they gave back in like the 1940s to 1970s to women to prevent them from having miscarriage so um if you're if you fall in that range and you may have taken that medicine so it's probably be good for you to definitely yes. get your breast uh cancer screening done okay okay um want to talk about risk factors that you can modify all like right, so you, um, weight, making mm -hmm. sure you're not overweight. Um, exercising, mm -hmm. I started by exercising after 18 months. That's <laughs> yes. horrible. Um, let's see, um, having um, what else? Um, alcohol, yeah, alcohol, cutting out alcohol, hormone replacement therapy yes. puts you at higher risk. Um, you know, and that's popular now. Hormone replacement therapy uh -huh. is really popular. Yep. Yeah, right because now. people go, even uh, you know, like they get those pellet injections, yes. I mean, not injections, but insertions, insertions yeah. yeah um and then reproductive history so if you had your first baby after 30 and you and or you never breastfeed then that puts your high risk for developing yes. breast cancer yes yes that's so, why i was like let me go on a breastfeed <laughs> Oh. Let me breastfeed this baby. That's why you breastfeed your baby. No, oh, but okay. Okay. I wanted to have the best nutrients. Okay. But also, I mean, benefit for me too, right? So when should I get screened? Like, when should I get screened for my for breast cancer? At the age of 40 is when you should start okay. being screened. That's when I had my first one. Is it's it? 40, yeah. Um, how, what, were you nervous? No, not no. really. Yeah. Not really. No. I was like, you're 40, so stop. get it done. Get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Give it, I mean, because you are in the medical field, you kind of already had it yeah. in your head. Like, yes. I got to get it done. So. And you can stop at age 75. Mm -hmm. But if you do have breast symptoms after age 75, you still can get screened. Yeah. And they recommend it to get screened every one or two years. So you don't ha actually have to do it every year to do one or two years. But I usually do once a year. Yeah. And yeah. My, my recommendation is once a year, too. Yes. So I'll be 40 next year. So then I'll. She young. I'll, I'll she get a baby. My, <laughs> I'll get my first. Well, it actually won't be my first because I had one before, but... Why you had one? Um, I had a lump, but we'll save that for a story time. Okay, I'm about yeah, to say, okay, we'll save that, to say, We'll save that for story time. But, um, yeah, so... get okay. Oh, and you can get screened earlier, like like I had to, if you have symptoms or yes. um, family history, history of breast cancer. Uh, especially a first-degree relative. Right, yeah. Mom, siblings, you know, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. Okay. So, I mean... I think, you know, like we said, we've gone over this stuff in the past and 
I think our previous video was probably more detailed yeah, and so a conversation. yeah so if you <laughs> want to go back and listen to all the deets and check it out on our YouTube channel yes um Oh, what else, B? Is there anything else? I think we don't covered it all. I think so, too. So, yes. just get your screenings, because early detection is the best detection. Yes. Earlier you're detected, the more likely you survive from it. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, disclosure. Tell the people. What? Oh, girl, the <laughs> disclosure. Okay, so this information is only for educational purposes, mm -hmm. okay? It's not to replace you going to see a primary care provider um, and getting your screening. Mm -hmm. Share it with your friends and family. That's what it's for. And why we do this? Because community, community is, is our beauty. beauty.